Hey, what's up YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about three things you should do to your computer to make sure it's running smoothly, make sure you don't have any malware or viruses, and just to kind of do a, a really simple cleanup. Now there's definitely other methods and, and more thorough methods, but I think for the average user, these are three things to start off with. The first thing is have an antivirus. Uh, whether you use McAfee or whatever, that's up to you. I personally don't like to pay for antivirus, so Avast does offer a free version. All you do is go to Avast, should look something like this, download the free antivirus. They're going to ask you to register with an email. Just go ahead and do that, but do not upgrade. As well as when you're installing this antivirus, uh, make sure you read all the instructions and you're not install installing any extra toolbars or any kind of services you don't need. For example, like the email um, uh, virus scan as well as they try to install like a, um, a couple others. Uh, what do I have here? When you actually get it installed, you can run smart scan and things like that, but something to consider is going to your, your preferences. And uh, there's a lot of um, different components, like the file system shield, the web shield, the software updater. Uh, there's the rescue disk, the home security system. This is all optional things, and a lot of them you do have to pay for. So just make sure you go in here and you make sure what you want is on is on, and what you want is off is off. Uh, frankly, I go with the bare minimum. I'm mainly using this just for a virus scan, for getting viruses from files that I download or things that I click on. And that's going to go ahead and be pre-installed with this program. So antivirus number one. Number two is malware bytes. This is going to uh, prevent any kind of malware on your computer or at least detect it. Go ahead hit free malware. Again, there's a premium version of this. Uh, all you're going to do is you're going to save this file. I'm not going to save it because I already have it installed and install. Same thing with the Avast. Just make sure you uh, don't install anything you don't want to, but do install the main program. And then the last thing we're going to get is CC Cleaner. It's another free program. It does have an upgraded version as well, but the free one still offers you value and you should use it. So now let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing I do is just run the virus scan, so run smart scan, and it'll just check your computer and check, it'll make sure that you have the latest version, check for viruses, and then it'll ask about outdated software. Now, outdated software is often a cause of viruses, I understand that, but sometimes you just have old versions of things and you shouldn't care. So don't take this as 100%. As They're often trying to just get you to upgrade to the latest versions and things like that. So see, it's telling me I have uh, outdated software. So for example, I need to update my VCL player, my iTunes, my QuickTime. I don't like to update QuickTime in iTunes because I don't really use it. I only need it occasionally when I'm using my iPod. So I don't want the, I don't want Apple bothering me, so I don't install that. So I just go skip and see, I was done. That's fine. The issues that they found were not virus issues, so I'm done. So I'm already done there. The next thing to do is the malware bytes. Uh, as you can see, go ahead and just click on that. And this one, again, is very simple once it's installed. I'm just going to go ahead and do scan now, and it will scan. And it will also check for updates for you, so it'll get the latest uh, information and uh, do it all for you. At the end, it'll say whether it detected anything or not, and then you're going to go ahead and click the button that says quarantine if that does happen, which will delete and fix anything like that. The last thing, after this is going to take a little while, so I'm just going to skip ahead. Go ahead and let that finish, though, is CC Cleaner. So I'm not going to show you, but basically you click this bot button in the bottom right. It's going to go ahead and run cleaner. All this stuff is storing data. This is going to free up a lot of hard drive space and a lot of things that are pre-installed, um, things that you just aren't using that are there. You can even go into applications and you can see which utilities you have um, and you can clean all of those. Go ahead and run cleaner. And I recommend cleaning it. As much as it's going to delete a lot of your information, it will make your computer run a lot faster and you can re-enter that information. Next is your registry. You can go ahead and scan for issues. It'll say like there's missing DDL files or things like that. Uh, you're missing some files. You can go ahead and fix all these. In Once this is done, you can go ahead and fix all your selected issues. And it will often help with some of the configuration files and things that aren't uh, quite correct that need some fixing. You can just fix selected issues. You can back up your registry, fix all selected issues. I'm done. Next thing, which is really important, is the uninstaller. You can see all the programs installed on my computer. Uh, go ahead and uninstall any pro programs you're not using. I mean, there's no reason to have programs installed if you're not using them. Um, so uninstall those. Startup. See what kind of programs are installed on your computer and what you're not using. Uh, for example, Easy Tether. That's a program for my phone so I could tether from my phone and power my computer. I don't want that to run every time I start my computer, so I disabled that. When I do want to use it, I'll just restart my computer and turn it on. All these things booting up when your computer boots up are slowing it down. So run as little as possible 
under your startup. Browser plugins. I hate browser plugins. I disable all of them. <laughs> I do not need them. So uh, just go to your browser plugins and disable or delete all the browser plugins you're not going to use. Disk Analyzer is a great way to see if maybe there's a program or something using up a lot of your space. You can uh, see where, where all your hard drive space is being used. That's a good feature if you want to do that. And then uh, there's some other stuff you can do, but that's a good start. If you start there, this is going to make your computer run significantly faster, especially if you've never done this before. You're going to find you're going to delete a, free up a ton of space. And because you've, you've, you've deleted all this stuff and there's less things going when you boot up, your computer's going to be running a lot better. So follow those three steps. Very easy to do, and your computer's going to be running a lot smoother. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you could give that little thumbs up, maybe a little subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.